Whistle and now we've got Kastelik trying to go here with Danielle Dory. Kastelik's trying to work with the left and now we'll go with the right and Dory comes back and wow. Two pretty good ones. Is this the Sports Channel Pro Boxing Tour or the first period of the Whalers and the Quebec Nordiques? Good tussle there. Danielle Dore was selected in the first round, fifth overall, in a stacked 1988 NHL entry draft by the Quebec Nordiques. Quebec easily could have chosen Jeremy Roenick, Rob Brindamore, Tamu Solani, Alexander McGilney, Mark Recchi, Rob Blake, or even Tony Amante, but they decided to go with what so many Quebec teams have done in the past and draft a Frenchman. Doré had minimal success in the NHL, appearing in 16 games in the 89-90 season for the Nordiques, scoring two goals and three assists for five points. He was sent back down to the Shakutami Saganines in the queue for further seasoning. The next year, he would appear in one NHL game and be held off the point sheet. He would spend the next three years of his career being bounced between the AHL, ECHL, and all the way down to the Colonial Hockey League, playing for the Chatham Wheels in 1994, at which point he would retire, and he would spend a few years playing roller hockey and then get into scouting for the Boston Bruins during the 96-97 season, a position that he held all the way up until 2007. Soon after that, he would get a job as an amateur scout with the New York Rangers, and would retire in 21-22. It is quite shocking to note that during that draft, the top three players and the seventh to tenth players selected in the first round of the draft all played over a thousand games in the NHL, whereas Daniel Doré, selected number five, played a total of 17. It's all time, I can't... 